Hey guys, welcome back. I decided to do one more episode because I was having fun. And I like having fun. So, I'm not going... Thanks for stopping by. You got a student? Oh. Cool. Cool. Do you know what... I hope to see you again. Shut up, Ask me anything. Really? Really? Okay. Can I take you to dinner? Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. <laughs> mm. Hope I'm to joking. see you again soon. All right, let's see. The bathhouse. Can I go to the bath? I don't want to go to the church. <laughs> Can I go to the bathhouse? I want to take a bath. Let me take a bath. Oh, yeah. I take a bath. Big bath. Maybe. Stepping inside. Thank you. <sighs> That's the stuff. All right, I'll ju I'll just do the side quests. <sighs> On top of the world. Come back anytime. Let's see. I I will. Go. Probably can't go to Station Street. All right. See, I'm part of the two girl autograph. I was wondering when this was gonna have. I was wondering when that was gonna pop up. Try to change that, shit, you know. Come on, that's enough for one day, isn't it? They're spragging, man. Hey, dude, let me keep you. I don't fancy third wheeling. Uh, how about I leave you to it? Hey, there goes a jerk. You just left me behind. Why do you learn nothing? He's doing it again. Says he's the loud kind of truck. You know, think you guys being such a jerk. Why not tell him yourself? You're mighty close to him right now. I sure did. Told him off real good. And what did you do? Told me off. You didn't listen to the thing I said. I was just working so hard. I followed his footsteps. I just, just saw him. Lasted longer than I expected. Yeah, she did. That was an embarrassing way for you to find us. No, oh, it's sweat it. I'm. I don't know you well enough. <laughs> like I, not like I know you well. Not like I don't know you well enough. Go sure got some balls though. Follows you all the way to Tharbad. Gets kidnapped. Caps it off in a night of drunken complaints. Like you dance like she didn't even face. <laughs> it might be my fault. I first probably should have, should have been so soft on the act of fact. <laughs> Careful, this doesn't seem to have clocked in tonight. <laughs> That's a pretty good mom. You're using a newbie you like her shouldn't be that hard for you, right? Well, you sure it's worth it? You know, don't want to upset the cute little Missy by pushing her away. She's got a thing for you. I've said it before, but we're from different publications. Rather than friends, we should be rivals. I don't really think that matters much. You'd probably be rivals even if we at the same place. I was not she looks up to you, then at least it should mean something to you, yeah? Hmm. I finally get a lead on one of the topics I've been pursuing. You know me, all my investigations are gray area at best. The rest, pitch black. Or the worst kind, and you know that. I'd much rather she stay far away, far away from that world. Maybe it's wrong to make that decision for her, but I don't want to follow in my footsteps. She should walk a brighter, more honest path. For someone who denies taking her under your wing, you sure get overprotective when it comes to her. Like she was talking to you and your growing offensive assistance you stick your neck out for. Mmm. Nothing. You're going on the trip with your assistance, right? Should be a great time. Take the time and enjoy yourself. I will? 
That's plain at least. Just as quick and creepy as Kitty used to be. I think did you know that? <laughs> yeah. No, back off. I'm gonna get you because you wasn't thinking of something there. <laughs> I'll buy you a souvenir. That was cute. Mm. Heck yeah. Best rekindling your passion for reporting with this little go get her around. You love her. Time to make this a night to remember. Come back and play. Huh. I don't think your usual game is going to catch his attention anytime soon. Mm, yeah, talking about Maximum. To the music shop. To the cinema! Taking off now. I need to see Hello. what do you have? Thank you for okay. your visit today. Hold on. What have I seen? Okay, I'm super curious, perfect driver said I have a minute memories. Golden Blood and Golden Hello. Blood's director's cut. The showing on screen one will soon begin. Mm. What was Requiem? That was the other one. Yeah. <laughs> well, a young officer of the wall saw on the heels of a gang in. So it ties to you with pursuing the case. I meet a girl named Michelle. She's free from the cultures of the gang. She's like, yeah. <laughs> 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 Excuse me. Goodness. Well, I was ready to run rest another how to engage the gangsters in a gunfight. Oh, gosh! Michelle! Michelle. Hold on. Hold on! Ron! Are you... Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? I'm fine, see? Not a single scratch on me. Thank goodness. I fulfilled my promise then. You remember it, right? You're always protecting everyone. So one day, I'll be the one who protects you. Of course I remember. Save your strength, Michelle. Help will arrive at any moment. Hey, over here! I need a medic now! Ron, your arms are so warm. When you hold me like this, my fear just melts away. Oh. Well, that was a sad ending. Dang it. But who is seeing that movie? Well, look who we have here. Oh, look. Oh. You really be wandering around town at this hour? Don't you have responsibilities back on the campus? Hey, whatever you're talking about, I'm all on business, actually. Yeah? Is your idea patrolling the city? Guess there's no harm in it. There's no... Um... We're only doing the re these reruns tonight, anyway. Well, after it took the Leon, Deor, and Thorbad, I couldn't afford not to see it, now could I? <coughs> I get why it was such a stir now. The Fenley's acting captured my attention the whole way through. 
Especially when she lied in the arms of the man she loved, smiling into her final breath. You could feel the purity behind those feelings. She's a bewitching actress. It's hard to believe how much feminine charm she can muster despite us being nearly the same age. It's even crazier when you think about you consider how subdued and wholesome she is in real life. Makes you wonder what sort of facade she'll end up putting on next. I should be the first in line to see it for myself. Facade? That's a good choice of words. Her ability is so in is so convincingly put on such different personas. Must be why she has a reputation for being a gifted actress. But at the same time, I get it makes it hard to get a sense of who she really is when cameras aren't rolling. It's almost like her identity is completely invisible looking at her from the outside. I met her a couple of times, at the very least. I don't get the vibe that she's a two-faced person or anything like that. That's not what you're really saying. Here is it. She's not any one person deep down that she's ca capable of... Yeah, I mean... She needs to her all such fascinating people to analyze when you agree. I think a ton of people would toss you with that exact same basket, you know? I see. Please proceed to the entrance. Let's do this. Can I finally play basketball? <laughs> I just want to play basketball. I don't know if it's possible, but I want it. I want it. Oh. Is that? You know, like what we have here, an inspector and a bracer shooting the. And if you two can be friends, the capital's in good hands. I wouldn't exactly call us friends. The sky shot the CID, but they're far from allies and best for rivals. But given how our work often overlaps, we're helping find each other out in the field. So rivals we may be, but we can still share a drink or two, eh? Give it to them. No, I'm good. Gotta stretch my legs a bit more. Fair enough. Drinking with old dogs like us isn't the most attractive offer, I guess. But you know, I'm sure Laney might have that drink with Buddy afterward. <coughs> I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. That reminds me, I heard you pitched in during that mess in Basel. Yeah, I heard from Alva. Sounds like you made yourself pretty busy over there. It wasn't what I was there for, but yeah. Helped out where I could. Hope I'm next time you don't. You let us know when you're headed beforehand. That way we can clean up the messes you have never been getting into. Yeah, because I'm totally the one causing them all. Right. <clears throat> but in case you'd like to know, most of next week can be arc riding free here in Nigga. Me and the gang are taking a little vacation. Hey, not a bad idea. Bet you could use the brick. Where you headed? We're going to be a nice way to get away from the hospital. Longlife. Well, my wife and I went there for our honeymoon. Beautiful place. I'd love to take my daughter there someday, if I could ever get the time off. <clears throat> well, I'll work to the bone, huh? And whose fault is that, do you think? The autumn leaves are stunning in long way. Sure, you'll be down that way. Since you'll be down that way, say hi to everyone, by the way. Oh, yeah, you're from around there, aren't you? Wait, could you not go guessing it in my background? Uh, sorry, sorry, just your fighting form is enough of a tell. And hey, a personal favor if you don't mind. I appreciate if you burn some incense from my old master while you're there. Sure, sure. Burn me like a book. <laughs> Back in the land of the living, are you? Master saw you plastered yourself to sleep. Figured you'd I'd just drop you off at the precinct, but I. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing at your face, man. No comment. Don't go lumping us together. Oh, I'm sure you gotta give me the cold shoulder, man. 
Okay, so go take one, you know, yourself. Well, no, let's point of taking a trip alone. It's a perfect chance to kill the flames of Burmage, you know that. How should I know? I sure think I'm gonna go push your luck and butter him up with some trip. She didn't just magically forget what happened. The kid said, you're such a weirdo, Mr. A. Can you stop by again? I want to talk to you some more. Yeah, of course she was nice to you. She's a freaking waitress. Hume's reaction said it all. You are weird. <laughs> I know I took on your request, but man, get your head out of your butt. Basic courtesy is an affection. I know that. I'm just trying to make amends. I mean, sure, I'd love it if they could put me back into their lives, but I just gotta take the first step myself. I guess that was the way you call he needed. <laughs> oh, didn't he bring his car here? So I parked outside. Gotta eat something? something? No. Oh no, man. The guy seems to be doing. Here's the thing, man, just... Just let him enjoy himself. Hey, welcome! Ah! Thanks, pal. And that's why we check, ladies and gentlemen. That's why we check. Can I play basketball? Can I play basketball? I wanna play basketball. I wanna play basketball. What the heck are you doing, James? Oh wow. So you lost, huh? Cool. Yes, it's time for me to leave. We have, we have full, full confidence, confidence in our products. products. We, await we await your, your next, next visit. visit. Thanks for the grub. That was amazing. Thank you. I guess we'll go, go check out Riverside. Wow. <laughs> Burning up, running around at the speed of sound. <laughs> you there? How this here's the oh, thank you, running. Again You're running the shop. You're running it. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. No, I'm not interested. Hold on, because I got to know what's down here, and then I'll move on. Hey there. hey there. See ya. Hey dude, put on free show tonight. Such a pretty song. Heck yeah. That is actually really emotional and it's beautiful. Nah. We'll do it. Why not? <laughs> Must be the idol to put in that request. Oh wow, so the rumors are actually huh? If you're here, that mean you're willing to hear me out. Yeah, probably best not to just stand around talking about this one. We'll grab a seat and take it from there. <coughs> you're supposed to be putting on a street performance tonight. It sounds like your partner didn't show up when she was supposed to. Yes, so it took mention to me that she had to work today. But she said she would be done after sunset, so we planned to meet up directly when she got off her job. 
was getting later and later and she was nowhere to be seen. When an hour passed, I still hadn't heard from her. I knocked on the door but didn't get an answer. I have a key to her apartment but she let me in. So I used to poke my head inside and found a note she left on the table. Hmm. Well, only two things scribbled down. One's the name I didn't recognize, Clement, and the other one said part time, a thousand mere an hour? A thousand mere an hour? That's what we charge as our base rate of the agency. That's pretty good for some side hustle. Some might even say to get practice scheme some side hustle. Only up and up, if you ask me. I wonder. <coughs> Clement. <laughs> hmm. Think about Lou. She comes from the countryside. She's a really honest girl at heart and tends to take people at their word for better or worse. That's why I'm really worried about her. I'm scared she might have gotten herself into. Okay. Spending time with an elderly lady that looks. Oh. Huh. Volunteer work? I was news to me, the textures are. Which is probably what a thousand of year comes in. Okay, yeah, so you're trying to earn money to, uh, for your concert, so you're working side job. <sighs> Dynamic camera angle shift. I don't know the woman that Lily's been looking after, but I'd be more happy to tell you. She did say the other day that the woman bought her clothes at Jardin Boutique at an apartment store. Huh, that's a good. Heck yeah! Welcome, Jordan. Jordan, sir, how may I help you? Okay, I almost had a little mistake. A mistake. Gotta watch my words. Madam Daphne? Exactly stopped by a few days ago, accompanied by a young woman. Hmm. Oh, they most certainly did. The Earl of the Sword in the Southern District. Over the side, and I go then. Yes, it's time for me to leave. Welcome to Erland, sir. Let me ask you hey. something. Daphne and Lula, like, yeah, the regulars here. Okay. Right now. You're aware of the relationship I didn't share. I wouldn't have just met with. I heard she volunteers for the assisted living nonprofit in her spare time. Huh. Gotcha. But from what I heard. Is that this Daphne lady kidding ain't exactly hurting for money. So I'd like for a free self or instead of a maid or something. You know, Daphne isn't sure herself. I recall she said she wanted to pay a little directly, actually. Told me she gets some payment from the agency anyway. Hmm. In the case of the old lady getting swindled at least. But yeah, something's weird here. And showing the place where she works. I think she works in the concert hall in Riverside. Thanks, oh you one.
Who says I can't walk around eating freely? Off now. Oh. Hey, isn't that? <sighs> that should get him off my tail. <laughs> hey, a heck of a Quinton's running into you here, especially at this hour. So all that article here was on Buzz Reader, by the way. Let me guess. I'm running from paparazzi, paparazzi right now. What if I am? And to be clear, that article is... Don't worry, I can make a guess. You're checking out talents and sports figures. You've got ties to the mafia, yeah. And say, so blame him. The why of things aside, he has been going around to all the shady spots for weird reasons. Wait, you've got detailed info on him? Look, I, mean, I, I can't exactly spill too much, but I can tell you this. You can lay off the red comet. He's 100% clean. Trust me. At least when it comes to what you're looking oh, for. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. So what was I even doing all this for? I got chewed up on my mom and Grammy for it, too. Think I complains about how you're handling your other job? How did you have that clean? Which could Van, possibly mean? What are you doing here? And who would this woman be? Man, you're kidding. That's Emily now. Claire the Bracer. Well, I swear it's just one thing after another. Anyway, I have to go, but don't you dare think you've beaten me. That was Judith Lanster, the actress? Yeah, you know her? Sort of. We met at an event before. I imagine you'd be more familiar with me than I am. So I heard you two got acquainted in a thought that. Well enough to meet outside of work, too, it looks like. Come on, if they like that, have a little faith in me. Oh, yeah? Alright then. So, what are you actually doing here in Riverside? Searching for someone, actually. Someone got dragged into works in an underworld job without being aware of it. You're investigating an underworld job, too. Two? Oh, you have the same thing. One of the scam victims would have a quest to the bracers. They're looking for a man named Clement right now. He's likely to go between. Ah! Clement sure gets around, huh? We're basically barking up the same tree then. I think we're so excited to report that Clement hasn't been spotted here. <coughs> hey, heck yeah! An idol named Luther Wood. Which honestly puts her in a whole lot of trouble. Check out the concert hall. No. Oh, I thought she was going to be following me. I'm a little disappointed now. I mean, I guess it's... Hey, baby. You like my pole here? I installed this thing myself. Hey. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know you're, I know you're putting it on Let me ask you something. Show. Oh, no. She wasn't on stage today. I mean, I don't know. You got any idea where she is? I've been thinking about her a lot as of late. That did happen this year. It stuck out to me because she was talking with some older woman I've never seen before. Something about grabbing tea at the food stalls? Alright. Not. Eh. Well. Now that's fair. Let me guy. ask you something. Oh, right, right. It's, it's just before dark when the, the old lady stopped on my stall. We met meeting with some middle aged man or something. He's waiting for him at the table. Give him an odd droop if you ask me. Never seen the alley under it? Can't say I did. Couldn't hear him all the way from here. They were talking for a good while before the man and got real worked up. Things got heated, so they up and left. Right across the river, I was wondering what cows are. Alright. This is sure starting to stink. I mean, I wasn't expecting someone likely to be Clement to actually crop up here. Okay. And so they headed across the bridge. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, 
Oh, what am I gonna do? I can't believe this happened. Hey there, Granny, you gotta say. <coughs> oh, for an A rank racer, there's this in the show. <laughs> Thank you for confirming that. Her mother was. What the hell was it happened? An hour ago, I was taken away by a man called Clement. He straight up took her? Well, she's to be clear, Clement was the man that was introduced to you and Lulawaya. That's right, and so today I wouldn't have pegged him for anything less than a kind and trustworthy man. Kind of because he wanted to discuss something with Lulu and me, but then she started to have some kind of medical insurance. It all sounded splendid, but I'm not so naive. I'm not naive. I know something, when something's too good to be true, it probably is. Going and not falling for that old trick. She also started asking him questions, and like that, it all started yelling at us, and then they dragged Lulu away. <coughs> they give it to the best we can for Lulu to sing. I don't really think you guys if you know where you lost sight of them. Oh, I'm ready. Let's go. Yes. Let's do it. Hey, you're stupid. Everything would have been just fine, but no, you had to run your mouth. All the money I could have swindled was gone all down the drain. How could you deceive a woman like Daphne? That's just horrible. If I knew what you were after, I never would have gone along with any of this. Newsflash, I don't care. You have a job to do, and that's all that matters, you understand? You sucker people woman with that sweet, innocent face of yours, and I swoop in for the kill. <clears throat> I've got this insurance plan, and you're gonna get it to take it out for me, alright? Excuse me, why should I... Don't even start with me. You took on this job and you accepted my payments. That should mean you're obligated to me. Your feelings can't do your job for you. That's not how the deal works. It's not about the money. It's about the deal. Let me stop you right there. <clears throat> Who are you? Oh no, the hero's come to save the day. I'm just shaking in my boots. Hero, I ain't. I'm a spriggan. I don't want to give a rats. I don't hate it. <laughs> that goody two shoes stuff. Because my client told me to fetch that girl, and I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm asking you nicely to hand her over. Great. One of you pricks. Just what I need. Look, buddy, you're barking up the wrong tree. Oh man, what a freaking idiot. Guy really thinks he'd just walk up by himself and take on arms. Who said he was alone? Hey, I know they face facing Elaine, all clear. Of all the... Nice work, Elaine. I've got the girl. What the... <clears throat> Silly, you shouldn't... Lulu, over here. Silly, Silly, is that you? Whoopsie, they forgot about me already, pal. <laughs> you want some? Looks like you guys don't know when to stay down. Oh, come on. Do you really think oh, that you can. You're in for now. Nah, Don't nah, man. Okay. Alright. Great time for a shark boost. I'll smash you! Don't stop now! Use a shark boost to get out of the way! Use a shark boost to get out of the way! Blast off! Payback time! Oh, 
remember this. Now's a great time for a shark boost. Engaging skill. I don't think so. And I uh, do this. <laughs> Get the hit him with a freaking punch. Yeah, dude. Jake's up, pal. You're the only one left standing. Do I mercy, mercy, please? How'd you handle that? Make sure the guy pays what he's <laughs> what he's done and pays good. Of course, you have a good night. <laughs> Just casually. That takes care of that. Hey. Hey. I gotta get that chaos up to level three, bruh. Thank you so much for your help. Yeah, we can't thank you enough. I mean, I was like, really? That's that's a lane sky. But the way you two moved, the perfect suit was dazzling. Honestly, I'm kind of jealous. Huh? Um. Read the room. A little. <laughs> Sorry, please ignore her. Come on, let's go. Finish your job already? Hey, it's me. Oh, hey there. Sorry for going off a little. It's no you. biggie. I'm just, I'm just glad everything got taken care of. Besides, I've got no interest in being a third wheel. That's... we're not... You're gonna have to go easy on her. She's more touchy than she lets on. For example, if you start moving the conversation just a little toward her age. First off, not funny. And second, I'll have you know that I'm still in my early 20s. Of course. My apologies, ma'am. Don't ma feel bad, Elaine. I can be a little sensitive about my age, too, sometimes. Anyway, I'll go report to the guild for you. Have some fun, you two, okay? You're like 20! Maybe 21! I'm older than all three of you! <laughs> You're sensitive about your age? She could be such a tease. Ain't she something, though? Not every day a Jaeger from a famous sword like Zephyr joins the guild. The lone one trained by the Purple Lightning. Yes! Shows up and immediately helped out in Tharban. And she's got a lot of room to get even better, I reckon. At this rate, she may even surpass my records. Though, sometimes a dour expression comes from her face. She must really miss her friends in the area, holding it dearly. Regardless, I must admit it's a massive help to have her around. And I think she's beginning to settle in a little by little. Once a student council president, always a student council president. You don't get to say that. I was still only vice president when you were around. Psh, we did things differently. So it was up to you to play the perfect press. Remember the play we did on the last day of the festival where you... Oh, you do not get to bring that up again. <clears throat> hey, hey, isn't that... It's gotta be. I wonder what they're talking about. Sucks to be famous, huh? It has its pros and cons, but I introduce myself sometimes, I can make use of my reputation. Just like how you call yourself a spriggan. True enough. Knowing, Knowing you, you, I imagine you've already you've eaten, dinner. eaten dinner. I had I enough, enough to hold to me over. over. But I but could I go could for go a drink. drink. Want to come with, come me? with me? I think that shipping pair makes the most sense. Van and Elaine. I, I feel like that's the one they're obviously pushing towards. <laughs> Why won't you just listen to me? I I need you with me at the Tyrell Times. Like I said, I'll leave the honest journalism to you. Sorry for the trouble, Ramadi. Man, all you... No, oh, please. This is nothing. Don't, Don't you worry, worry about, about a thing. thing. Still, Still, if you ask me, I think you're more than ready to leave the back alleys yourself. Fair it's enough. been eight years, you know. It's not a matter of how much time's passed. Besides, 
I feel like my current path suits me better at this point. See, I want to know what you're looking into, my guy. You should be saying that to Van. Oh my! Is that him? Cheating on me with Shino? I can't say I'm not jealous, but she's been refining her craft a lot lately. Oh my, oh my, 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 my! <laughs> Looks like our boy might finally be starting to move on. You think so? Move on from mm. I wanna chase scoops together. Here are the gimlet and grasshopper that you ordered. Thanks. They've both got just the right amount of foam. Your shaking technique has really improved, Shino. I'm impressed. Thank you for saying so. But I'm still not a patch on Bermati. Well, please enjoy your drinks. Ooh. You get a tender scene. Voice acting. Please. Ah, oh, this is lovely. Yeah. Still, I see you like even your cocktails, sweet. Of course he does. Well, not all the time. Come to think of it, I've shot back a few with Renee, but I guess this is my first time doing it with you, huh? We were too young, remember? Although I suppose that didn't stop you at the school festival after party. Mmm. I got no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I swear, you two are why they say boys will be boys. Can <laughs> <laughs> we go and get some exposition? Dead comment! Considering someone has been avoiding me these past four years, we haven't really run into each other that much. But come to think of it, we ended up a lot with a lot of shared experience acquaintances, Bernadi, Shino, and I suppose even an actress qualifies now. Hey, don't look at me like that, she's just a client, that's all. It just so happens when two folks work in the same city. Especially when our jobs are like two sides of the same coin. I suppose you're right, though. What does that make Renee? Cats or tails? He's the edge of the coin. Or the guy with the coin in the palm of his hand. <sighs> Good point. I thought he'd make a very fitting career choice when he decided to join the military of home affairs before grad Ministry of Home Affairs before graduation. I never expected him to end up transferring to the CID when it was established and become a rival of sorts. That's just the kind of guy he is. Like how he acts like a venerable, venerable, venerable older brother figure, even though he's only a year older than us. Incidentally, he seemed surprised when he learned I was joining the guild. Happily, he wasn't opposed either. He was like my only ally outside a circle of friends. After a certain someone disappeared. Hmm. You really haven't changed at all these last seven years. Or the last 15, for that matter. Well, we're not talking about... Sh well, we're talking about not changing. You do know it's your fault I ended up with such a sweet tooth, right? All you did was stuff a poor, impressionable van full of chocolate and macaroons for your family biz all the time. Perhaps, but Renee got just as stuffed as an avoided sugar addiction. So I think you were doomed in this way regardless. I really don't remember you having this much of a sweet tooth when you were younger, though. Are you sure something didn't happen after? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to rip up, rip it old Scott. <laughs> I, I, I need more information, bro! Never got a clue what you're talking about. Still, I don't have any regrets about it up this way. I had some bit of fun for to life. My employees always look at me funny, but if they're gonna complain about me loving sweet stuff, they can give theirs to me, I say. I still have a mixed feeling if it's not your career choice. But I've been feeling a little better about it. Seeing the sort of people you're attracted to. I really didn't expect you to end up with a student of Professor Hamilton's working under you, though. Attracting is definitely the right word. It's like I'm a magnet for hard cases these days. I guess we sense technically different since she's on loan from Marduk. I'm honestly shocked just how much you seem to trust her. 
I don't have any dates about, doubts about how capable she is given her employer. Well, she's capable, all right. No, and I know I can trust her. I suppose you can say the same about her bosses. Marduk. So shady, you can see the, sh you can see the shadow for Selge. You ain't got nothing on them, do you? They're as much of an enigma to us as the society is, I'm afraid. Still, you're the one who has a contact with them. Good job signing away your soul to the Selge Long Shadow. Ugh. Ah, Shino, bring me an Alexander, would ya? I would like a white lady, please. Certainly. Man, I wanted that whole thing to be voiced. That would have made me happier. I really wasn't expecting you to go f and foot the bill. How's you guys supposed to look suave if you don't even let them pick up the check? I was the one who invited you here, and please, that idea is so old-fashioned, it's covered in moss. You're going away next week with your team, right? If you really want to buy someone nice, some something nice, treat them instead. So I'm sure you're aware of, but being an Avery Bracer pays rather well. Jeez, rub it in some more, why don't you? You can treat next time. What does that sound? You're on. The top will be very bigger next time, anyway. You can always call Renee, too. Oh, wait. I got a better idea. Let's save her for when we go to some place really expensive. Well, this doesn't work. The guy's probably loaded by now. Oh, you. <coughs> you gonna tell me anything about your past, Vanny boy? I'm going to take a cab home. You taking the subway back? Yeah, no, ro no buses run at this late. Night, Elaine. Here's to a good working relationship from here on out. That will be entirely dependent on you. Good night, Van. 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 Mm hmm? What's up? Are you... Are you, are you are really, you really going, going to go on, on that on trip? trip? What? Why wouldn't me? It's gotten into... <laughs> it, it's, it's nothing. nothing. I, I hope I you have a good, have time. A good time. Don't forget, Don't forget. You're, a you're, a you're a leader now. Don't, Don't get, get too get carried too away out there, out there. Okay? okay? I mean, I know something's gonna go down, but why do you seem so concerned? Oh, why do they all gotta be so dang mysterious? I wanna know what's happening! What was that about? I haven't seen her act like that since we were kids. <laughs> it's been so long since we first met Horatio all those years ago. Is that where you used to live? She was the daughter of the biggest family in the area. Ren was the son of a government man slaving away at his life from home, and I. You were what? I was just talking to her family after joining the guild, though. There's some kind of problem in her personal life she's not talking about. Not like it'll make up for what, seven years ago. Maybe I should talk to her about it again sometime. That government trails are pulling me in. <laughs> I, I said, I, I don't want to play again. Just two episodes. I mean, I want to play, but I don't have time. Okay, I'm going to head out now. We'll be right here when you get back. Be careful now. So you're taking... Take good care of her for us. We're counting on you. Of course he will. I know, I know. She's in Thank safe hands Thank you for alone. looking after her. If she, if she starts, starts being, being selfish, selfish or making, making a fuss, fuss, don't be afraid to give her a talking to. to. We, we want you to have, have lots of fun, fun. But, but we also, we also need, need you to be a good, good girl, girl, okay? okay? And, don't and don't forget, forget to brush, to brush your, your teeth and teeth use the bathroom before you go to bed. I won't. <laughs> She's always a good girl. She'll be fine. But be sure to keep a close eye on her at all times. Um, I'll be there for her, too. I can help pick her, pick out souvenirs or something. Oh. So, what did you what want to talk, talk about? about? Well, well, this conversation might take a while, so I think I'll go make us some coffee first. <laughs> you what? <laughs> Wee! Vroom vroom! This car is the bestest! Isn't it? Little kids are way too easy to please. 
What's wrong with that? It's good that you enjoy the little things in life. I'm glad the end was understanding about her coming with us. Yeah, I was hoping we wouldn't have any issues since she's so young. And sure enough, we didn't. The best in long line knows how to do right by its customers. It's good and certain of you to propose that we look after her. Her guardians have much to discuss after all. <laughs> I imagine they get right to it as soon as we left. Max and me end up having a talk with Victor, too. There's no short of things he's got to answer for. He wants to be a part of the family. He's got to rebuild those burned bridges brick by brick. <coughs> and if he screws up and gets himself burned, I'll point and laugh my butt off. Aww, that's so cute. Aww. It's just such a happy little thing. See, I really like the art style. I don't like the cover art of this game, like with the the new thing. I, I don't know. I like a lot already, huh? Well, it was an early morning for him. I'm not surprised she's tired. So I'm sorry, I'm should we be arriving around 12.30 if I recall? So we're around there, yeah? Since we got Yumi with us, I'm planning to make a couple of stops along the way. I wonder where he's going. Hello. Hello. Sorry for calling you so early in the morning. Well, this is a surprise. Nina! Isn't she... She's an actress. We handled a job oh, in a while I didn't ago. expect everyone to be with you. Wait, are you on the road? Yeah. We're on a major one, so we can get a decent enough signal. I actually got out of town for a few days. You don't have another job for us, do you? Oh, not quite. I just... I really didn't want to impose on you either. Well... Why don't you just tell us what's up? Can't get until we'll be able to help, and I'm still to hear you out. Okay, it's about Judith, you see. We've been able to get... We haven't been able to get in contact with her for a few days now. Really. Do, do you think that's because... It's gotta be because of that story getting around. That's what I was thinking, too. It's completely fabricated, so I wouldn't have expected her to get so worked up about it. <clears throat> the timing sets off a red flag. That was what I was hoping to ask you to look after. The more serious to be, that way the more sensitive they are deep down. No, she's the super hard-headed lady who doesn't know when to quit. Yeah, her outfit sure doesn't know when to quit. Hmm? What outfit? Oh, just ignore them. If she's still missing when we get back to the capital the day after tomorrow, we'll see what we can do. Until then, I'll give some of my contacts a call and have them check if they've heard anything. You should worry about her too much, especially when we know the article is made up. But if we learn anything, we'll be sure to let you know as soon as we can. Seriously, <laughs> that gangster's tough as nails. I'm sure she's fine. So you ran into her last weekend, didn't you, man? Yeah, she was looking proof that Maxim was involved in a crime. So you get real down after I told her suspicions about him couldn't be more off. Kingster? <laughs> what kind of crime? It's not that important. Mm. Aww. Okay. I wonder if that's setting up the thing after the intermission, or if that's going to be the thing that... They're going further into the east, right? Whoa, those are big rocks. <laughs> That's called a mountain range. There's the Taishan Mountains in the north and the Ishkal Mountains in the south. Well, it serves the dividing line between Central Zamoria and the east. Also known as the Solaris Mountain and the Kunlun Mountains. That's right, people from the east call them Solaris and Kunlun. But Taishan and Ishkal are originally designated names at the behest of the church. It's weird to think that my homeland is just on the other side. It's basically a hop, skip, and a jump away. You'd have to jump pretty high to get over that mountain, though. That bike was super duper cool! I kill for a ride like that. I 
bonus on that label. Huh. I have a long face, man. What's wrong? Are you car sick or something? Nah, nothing like that. Just got a bit of trauma with the guy who ride to ride around on big bikes. And I ain't talking about Hermes. She's been a huge help. She was exclusive to dudes. <coughs> he has landed as an S-Class threat by the Mardu company. What? You've acquainted with an S-Class threat? Your choice of clientele is atypical, to say the least. There's no way it could be him. What a joke, this ain't even my whole town, and yet I'm here getting out nostalgic over this. No. I might not be able to save it before the recording's up. Is it gonna push me into episode 3? No. I... So, yeah, man, look at that. I'm glad we get to travel all over Calvert. I'd be very annoyed if we didn't, but considering that's kind of how every game goes. 12.32. So this is long line. <coughs> that does look really freaking pretty. I've never seen anything like this. I got a whole different kind of Eastern vibe compared to Langport. And that's certainly a distinctive smell. The smell of sulfur. Our lodgings are right across the river. Let's go drop our stuff before we do anything else. Dad coming. I was like, oh, I get this. There's so much stuff I've never seen before. It's so awesome. Everything smells so good, too. There's called skewers and mochi. And one of the things with the leaves wrapped around them. <laughs> Starved too much? Those are called zong zongzi. Actually, I'm starting to get hungry myself. I need to rush, I guess. Oh, what are those? They're so hot and they're super black, too. I don't know what they are either. Maybe some kind of manta? They smell fruit and fragrant, and Yume's right about the color. The lustrous black really makes them stand out. Hot Spring Monster, name of bamboo charcoal. I got some black sesame jam inside. <laughs> I guess I'll have to wait for lunch. Wait, matcha ice cream? That's a thing now? He makes something so bitter taste like. Oh no, I gotta try it. Lose <laughs> all brain function. If we have to wait, you have to wait. We already be coming back after lunch from Montel, yes? Alright. Ooh, this place looks so fancy. Yeah, this is top of the class. Can't imagine how expensive it is to normally stay here. We're staying here for free, right? I just feel guilty about that now. Look at you must be Mr. Ockrad in his party. Yeah, six adults and a child. Nice, thanks guys. <laughs> so nice of making himself at home. Alright, well. Whoa, this room is so nice. Best spot of best inside. Nice. Can we share a bed on? Yes, please. Very Emory said, can sleep in our bed too. <laughs> the bed's super cloud in this. I don't see any harm in that. It's a special Samue party instead of a pajama party. That's uh, so I'm with you too. What do you expect? You're kind. You're the kind of guy who can only sleep when he's by himself. All right. I'll see you guys next time. I'm just gonna have to stop here. We'll pick this up.